and welcome to the Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amina Taqi and I am an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this programme is to help you gain all the information and skills that you need to be able to make better choices to improve your health and your overall well-being. In a world where we're constantly bombarded with information about food, nutrition, health, sometimes we're left a little bit confused about what are the things that we can do that will improve our health or the things that we should avoid so it doesn't impact our health in a negative way. Today's topic um, is all about the seven main factors that we can do to ensure optimum health for as long as possible. Now, the, these seven different things that we'll be talking about today are very general. So what's important to keep in mind is how you apply that in your everyday life. Everyone's different and there is no one thing that will suit everyone. But by knowing these seven general things, it's important for us uh, when we're fasting and also after we break our fast, just to remember these things and to remind ourselves of actually that my health is what I want to be working on. So for the seven lifestyle factors, the first one is to achieve a balanced diet and a balanced meal. That is very important because that is what is going to give your body the nutrients um, and the energy that it needs when, um, you've, when you're fasting. So to achieve a balanced meal and a balanced diet is what's going to help you improve your health in the long run. The second one is to make sure that you're doing enough exercise or physical activity. That's very important because the exercise and the physical activity is what's going to help ensure that our bones and our muscles are last us for as long as possible. The more active we are, the more a beneficial impact they have on the body. And that can still be um, applied even within the month of Ramadan, even when you're fasting. The third main way that we can that we can do to improve our health is to manage our stress levels. That's also very important because chronic stress or constant stress can also have a negative impact on our health. So we need to find all the ways that we can do to improve our health, whether that's mindfulness, whether that's breathing or any of the other techniques that we can do. The fourth one is to sleep better. Sleep is an important component of, um, of our health and to get the seven to nine hours of sleep a night for every adult is what's going to help you and your health, not just in the short term, on an everyday basis, but in the long term. Um, in terms of sleep or rest, that's very important, especially when we're fasting and because of those long hours where we don't eat or drink. The fifth one is to achieve a balanced, um, achieve a healthy weight or maintain a healthy weight. Now, that can happen naturally when we do the other things. So when we have a balanced diet, when we, have, when we manage our stress, when we do exercise, when we sleep well, naturally our um, health will, uh, our weight will go within the normal range. So sometimes over-focusing on the weight can lead to what we call the diet mentality and that's not always long-term. The sixth um, lifestyle factor is to stop smoking. Now, a lot, of the, a lot of the times we associate smoking with cigarettes, but that could be any of the other um, tobacco products, whether that's shisha, whether that's e-cigarettes, because all of them have a detrimental impact on the health. Um, and it's important to try and stop any of those products. The final thing, the seventh thing, is to remember to take any prescribed medication. So if you are prescribed any medication, Remember to take it, don't stop it and start it whenever you know you feel like it or whenever you feel better. Always consult your GP about that because that medication is prescribed for a reason. So those seven different things are, um, and those different lifestyle factors are things that we can all be doing within our everyday life that will help us to achieve optimum health, not just in the month of Ramadan, but also for the rest of the year. Or for the rest of the year. Thank you for joining us for today's session and I hope that uh, those factors that you can start applying those factors within your everyday life but remember step by step it's whatever works for you and how you can practically apply that in your everyday life thank you for joining us and assalamu